I could not have planned the life that I've lived. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I had plans, but most of them never came to pass. If someone had told me that I would spend half of my life counseling couples, I would probably have asked, what is counseling? <laughs> and if someone had told me that I would ever be a writer or an author, I would have said, what would I write? Now don't get me wrong, you know, I planned to finish high school and college, but then I planned to go to work. I would never have imagined that I would have the opportunity to speak at the Pentagon in Washington, or to a gathering of ambassadors to the United States from 30 countries around the world, or speak at a luncheon to members of parliament in London, and I certainly would never have thought that I would be on the same church staff for 50 years. In the last quarter of my life, I become keenly aware of that ancient Hebrew proverb, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but God directs their steps. In my latest book, I share some of my journey, the failures and the successes, and what I learned from each of them. My hope is, as you read these stories, and as you hear these lessons, you'll find hope and encouragement for your journey. You likely have a plan for your life, and that's fine. But hold that plan in an open hand to God and let Him direct your steps. His plans are always better than ours.